Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today in the kitchen we're going to be making some church book casseroles. Yes, I found this church cookbook and it has so many fantastic recipes. This won't be the last one that I'll be sharing them on. So hold on tight and we will get to cooking. For our chicken breast supreme, these are the ingredients we're going to need. First we're going to melt the butter and then we'll spray the casserole dish. Now all of these recipes I'm going to have in the description box below the ingredients and the directions. They came from a church cookbook and they were all really, really good. We're going to cut this chicken up. I did, um, turned them into like chicken tenderloin. It said to use six boneless chicken breasts, but it was just Big Daddy and I, so I cut down on that. Uh, you just do as many as you feel need, you need to feed your family. So after we get our chicken breasts in the casserole dish, we're going to mix the stuffing with the melted margarine. And then we're going to mix the cream of chicken soup with the milk. And we have two bowls that we'll have ready to go. Now we have our bowls ready, we're going to put some slices of Swiss cheese on top of the chicken, after which we will put the chicken soup mixture over all the chicken and then top it with the stuffing mixture and that's it. You put it in a 325 degree oven for one and a half hours. Like I said, absolutely delicious, super simple. I know you're going to love it. Here are our finished plates. I served it with some steamed broccoli and some garlic toast. And here are your ingredients and as I said directions in the description box below. For our cabbage casserole we're going to go ahead and get the hamburger and the onion cooked and then we'll cut up the cabbage and get that into our uh, sprayed casserole dish. We're going to also preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're now going to add the cooked hamburger and onion on top of the cabbage and a half cup of uncooked rice and then we'll get that all mixed in. Mm -hmm. 
Now to the casserole we're going to put in a can of tomato soup, a, can, a can of tomato sauce, and one cup of water. We're going to cover this with foil, bake it at 350 degrees for one hour. Here are our finished plates. I did a side of broccoli and a garlic toast. This was absolutely delicious. In fact, we loved every single casserole that was made. So I will have the ingredients here and again directions in the description box below. For our cranberry chicken, the first thing we're going to do is mix together in this bowl a half cup of red French dressing, a whole can of whole cranberry sauce, and a package of dry onion soup mix. Now we're going to take a box of Uncle Ben's long grain and wild rice and we're going to sprinkle the rice into the bottom of the casserole dish and then we prepare the seasoning according to directions on the box. I found this a little sketchy because uh, it was a lot of water and then once I poured it on top of the seasoning with the rice it looked very green and not very appealing but trust me this comes out so 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 good and it absorbs all of that liquid so it needs it for the rice so the next thing we do is we take our chicken and we mix it in with cranberry french dressing onion soup mixture and then we place it on top of our lovely green water and then we coat this I'm sorry we bake this 350 degrees for one hour or until it's done now I covered mine for 30 minutes and then took the foil off and let it bake for the last 30 minutes uncovered and then it was perfectly fine absolutely delicious like I said not super appealing but oh my gosh the flavor was fantastic I hope you give it a try and we paired ours again with some uh, steamed broccoli For the pork chop casserole, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. This was Big Daddy's favorite. He is a pork chop fan. After spraying the casserole dish, we're going to put one cup of uncooked rice in the bottom of the dish, and then we'll take our onion soup mix and put that over the top. It's just one package. Then we're gonna brown our pork chops. You don't have to cook them through, but they do need to be browned on both sides. I added a little pepper on mine. It didn't call for that, but I just wanted something on there, so that's optional. Now our pork chops are cooked and in the casserole dish we're going to put the cream of mushroom soup on top of the pork chops. Just spread that out a little bit and then add two cups of water. I've got the oven preheating 375 degrees and this bakes for one hour uncovered.
Here's a finished plate. Like I said, this was Big Daddy's favorite. I paired it with some cauliflower, broccoli, and garlic toast. Seemed to be a thing this week. Anyway, here's your ingredients and again, uh, directions in the uh, description box below. I want to thank everybody for watching today and if you did please leave me a heart emoji in the comments and that way I know you were here. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. They are all very very good and if you do try some please let me know. I'll be doing some more out of the same cookbook. I love y'all. Have a great week.